Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Jalal Ahmad and in this tutorial we are going to learn that how to use HTML and CSS properties to make a car moving on a moving road. For that purpose let me show you that I have nothing in this page. I have nothing in the CSS page. You can see this CSS page is linked in here that is called external CSS file. We have linked that external CSS file and when I will refresh this page you can see there is nothing on the page let's get started first of all I will take a div with a class name as sky and I will style it in here for the class sky I will write height that is 100 vh and width is 100% now I will take background image as URL and I have a picture that is named as sky.jpg. I will save it and will refresh page and you can see. Now I will write background size that is cover and also I will write background position that is it will be positioned at center I will refresh it and you can see now its position will be relative and its overflow X will be hidden if it is overflowed from the screen on horizontal uh, on horizontal level it will be hidden I will show you that you can see no change but it will have its effect on the page after that we will take a div inside the sky div that is div with a class name as road save it and now we can style it in here its height will be 200 pixels its width will be 500 percent and background image will be URL and I have a picture in my directories that is row.png I will show it to you when I refresh it when I refresh the page you can see the picture background repeat that is repeat X and I will make it as display as block I will also apply position to it and will make it and will make it absolute now I will use bottom position as 0 left position as 0 and right position as 0 I will also apply the Z index property Ref save it and when I hit refresh you can see it is now at the bottom part I will apply animation on it for that I will write road 5 seconds linear and infinite okay let's check if animation is working or not I know it will not work because we have not applied keyframes in here I will refresh and no animation is there so for animation I will also apply keyframes for road and I will write 100% and for 100% I will write transform property I will apply the value translate X of minus 3400 pixels now let's check it you can see the animation is now applied after that we are going to put another div 
with the class name as city save it and now we will write code for styling the city class first I will apply background image that is URL is equal to city dot PNG and its height will be 430 pixels its width will be 500 percent and now I will also make it a block level element let's refresh and you can see the image is now in there after that I will make it a free element by this property and now I can apply position to it bottom will be 200 pixels left will be 0 right will also be 0 and I will also suggest you to use background repeat property and it will be repeated on horizontal level apart from that I will suggest you to use an index of 1 same as the previous one like this you can see z index is here as 1 it will also be 1 let's save it refresh and now you can see it is touching that road part okay now we will apply animation to this city picture for that I will write animation and I will write city and after city I will write the time and then I will write linear and infinite same as previous one just the time difference after that for applying animation I will write keyframes for city and 100% animation it will apply this property transform equal to translate x and it will be minus 12 80 pixels let's refresh you can see animation is now applied to this image as well now we want to have a car in here so let's move towards that okay move towards HTML file after here I will write dev.car so we took a div with the class name as car and inside it I will take an image okay I have a car image with this name I will save it and I will now show it to you what's in there so this is what we have right in here I will move it in this position okay let's style this car class first I will write its width will be 500 pixels position will be absolute again we want to make it a free level element I will move it to the center of road so that is why I am using position absolute every time I want to make an element as free now I will use left 50% and bottom as 97 pixels let's see it okay so you can see it is disappeared in there it is behind the road and it is behind the city picture as well so we want to move it in the front move move it towards the front of these pictures for that purpose I will use Z and Z index property and will value it as 2 and you can see now it is in front now I want to move it a little bit towards the left side so use transform again and value it as translate x minus 50 percent and it is now in here now what I want that uh, this car is moving towards the right side 
and I want to make a movement up and down in here so for that purpose I will take the car image inside car there is an image I will style it its width will be 100% and I want to apply animation in here sorry animation and it will be car one second linear and it will also be infinite after that I want to apply this animation to image so for that purpose I will try to write keyframes for car and write 100% and also I will write transform will value it translate y at this time okay right here one pixel sorry copy it paste it two times right here 50 and in here I will write 0% I will make this a positive value and we will save it and let's see it in the up and down moment you can see you can notice now up and down moment in this car you can see it just have a look at this now we will take another div with the class name is wheel and we will take inside two images inside there will be two images and these images are wheel.png we will copy and paste class will be back wheel copy it and paste it this will be the front wheel so what we did we have another div with the class name as wheel and there are two images inside of it so these images have one back wheel and one front wheel these are the class names of these images so save it refresh and you can see these images are in there what we will do we will make this these images as small as smaller as the tires of this car and then we will fix it this is the front wheel we will make it in here we will position this wheel in the front and we will position this wheel in the back first I will apply the position as absolute now you know what why I am using absolute value and then I will position it as left equal to 50% bottom equal to 178 pixels and again I want to move it towards the center so I will use transform and translate X as minus 50% so let's see it so you can see it is now in, in center of the page now I will write Z index as 2 you can see why I am using Z index so uh, it is now in front of these two images okay now I want to make this size smaller as, as tires of this car so for that purpose I will target I will select wheel and inside wheel we have images I will have height as 75 pixels and width also the same and let's first see I will refresh now I will add animation to it and it will say wheel I will add animation for wheel the time will be 0 0.4 seconds it will be linear and infinite again again I will add keyframes for wheel and 
हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द एनिमेशन विल बी लाइक ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड इन दिस टाइम इट विल बी रोटेट एंड इट विल रोटेट थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री सो सेव इट एंड लेट्स रिफ्रेश एंड यू कैन सी एनिमेशन इज अप्लाइड टू द व्हील now what we have to do we will move it here and it to here so for that purpose let's move towards our css code now you know i will take the back wheel class and i will make it as free element absolute and then i will position it left equal to Minus one sixty eight pixels. Save it. Refresh. And then I will take front wheel, and again the same absolute, and then I will write left as one. Hundred and five pixels. So you can see, we are here and we have done this so far. So that was about this tutorial. I hope you have learned something with me in this tutorial. If you like my video, please rate, comment, and subscribe my channel. Also, don't forget to share my video. Thanks for now.